Thanks for joining us at the AI for Good Global Summit 2019 here in Geneva. I'm delighted to be joined by Thomas Wiegand. He's Professor of Information Technology at the Berlin Institute of Technology and Executive Director of the Fraunhofer Heinrich Hertz Institute. Thomas, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, Thomas, you have been involved with the summit from the very start, three years ago. And last year, you kick-started an interesting project. It's around the, the use of artificial intelligence for health. What can you tell us about it? So the idea came out of the uh, health track last year, where uh, 15 very interesting projects have been presented, how AI could be used to uh, improve health, uh, to have like diagnostic prediction or to have other predictive models. But it, was, it became clear that uh, when these projects are over, that's the end of it, more or less. And how do you get these AI algorithms to the field? How can they be used to a worldwide uh, audience, of, 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 to a worldwide group of patients? So Thomas, out of the 13 projects, one in particular is quite advanced, isn't it? And it's one that uses artificial intelligence in the diagnosis of breast cancer. Is that right? Yes. So um, in, in uh, pathology, uh, when tissue samples are taken, it needs to be understood uh, where the tumor cells are and where the lymphocytes are. Th they are the ones that infiltrate the tumor to fight it. And it's important to know the quantity of those. Uh, currently, a pathologist looks at those pictures and gives an estimate or count. And that takes time. So an algorithm can do this uh, much faster with a higher accuracy. and. Uh, the task of the focus group, not only for pathology, not only for diagnosis, but for other topics on AI for health, is to evaluate AI algorithms. So we would go back to first the data, the reference data, which need to be of high quality. Uh, for instance, in this histopathology case, we have uh, seven pathologists looking at the same picture to give us the gold standard as the reference. And then we would be uh, uh, testing AI algorithms against the gold standard and uh, see how well they do and if they do good enough then they can be used uh, in the clinical uh, uh, environment. Okay, so you are trying to create a benchmark really? Yes, so either it's a benchmark of the AI algorithm against the gold standard which is the health experts or it is uh, among other AI algorithms and how well they are and then at the end we will draft a report and provide this information we have uh, made great progress. For instance, we have created a working group on regulatory considerations with participation from uh, the FDA uh, of the United States and HPMA of China and uh, EMA and uh, of Europe and the uh, BFRAM of uh, Germany and uh, others are joining. And so what we are doing is we are involving those who are in the business of uh, regulating and certifying AI uh, into our work, they give us guidance so that we can come up with this framework on benchmarking these algorithms so that at the end of the day they could be made available to everybody who needs uh, health improvements. It's an interesting example of uh, open innovation and collaboration as well, isn't it? Because you are working with so many different stakeholders. Yes, um, so it is a group, uh, it's an ITU focus group in collaboration with WHO, but then there's the ENF involved, the International Association of National Public Health Institutions, uh, the Inter-Academy Partnership, which is the uh, uh, academic of, uh, academies in the world, the ACM, so you have to bring in all sorts of stakeholders and many, many more in order to make this work because what it needs is many experts that are knowledgeable about uh, health, a particular health topic, and about AI and statisticians so that we have a credible judgment over what we're doing is actually working and it can be used then uh, on patients. Fantastic. Well, Thomas, thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.